I hope you all uh, all watched watched this the Snyder cut because I'm about to freaking I'm about to freaking go down on it. Not, oh, phrasing, jeez, right off the bat. Oh, jeez, I'm not about to go down on it. I'm about to like informationally go down on it. <laughs> Hold on, let me restart this. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, what's up, Brett? Illustrator, dude. Dope, Mr. Freeze. Saw that. It was awesome. Danielle, what's going on? Cole. I already got a super chat from, from Cole. Thank you, Cole. I appreciate it. Monetized channel. What's up? What's going on? That's cool. Um, Bring back armchair reels. No. I just will not. No. Uh, hold on. I get this chat box off my screen. Get off my, get on my screen. Uh, okay. So, we're going to talk about uh, Snyder Cut. The Justice League Snyder Cut. I just finished it not but 30 minutes ago. And uh, these are my fresh thoughts. These thoughts may change. Uh, more than likely they will over time whenever I think about things and we're like really, anal you know, give it some, give it some analysis. Uh, you know, so I, I, these are my fresh thoughts. So don't, don't hold me on this shit. But these are just my, my first, my first thoughts of it. Uh, before I go, I get into that, I do want to talk about Zack Snyder and his uh, recent horrible take. Uh, horrible take. So if you guys don't know already, I am friends with Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers is a friend of mine. We are on Friday Night Tights. Uh, they produce that show over there with Gary from Nerd Rotic. And yesterday, Geeks and Gamers had put together uh, with... Uche Waneri, on his channel, they put together a live stream charity event for suicide prevention and uh, and stuff like that. They actually got, they were actually able to get Zack Snyder himself to come on the stream, and their goal was, uh, I think they were going for a hundred thousand, and they'd gotten real, they gotten up pretty close. Um, be, like before the stream and it was you know it was coming in and people were getting stuff it was good and then they bring Zack Snyder in everybody everybody like like Ryan Uche Lethal Lightning these are guys that have been championing Zack Snyder like to no end all the time Snyder Cut Snyder Cut before like whenever people thought that Snyder Cut was not a thing, and they were shit talking people that were trying to keep the Snyder Cut alive. These are guys that that fought for this, and they were on the stream with them. So they brought in, they brought in uh, Zack Snyder, and whenever he came in, instead of saying thank you for putting this together, thank you for raising all this money for suicide prevention, it means a lot to me. Uh, his, his daughter passed away because of suicide. Um, instead of saying that, instead of saying the positive stuff, he comes out and... Give me, give me one second. I'm back. Let me turn the music down so I'm not, too, I'm not speaking over this. Because I want to get this out right. So instead of saying positive things, he comes out and recites, almost sounds like a, a studio mandate message. He has to separate himself from geeks and gamers, and then in the same breath, say that there's no, in light of recent events, we'll, we'll play the video, uh, in light of recent events, uh, there's just no place for hate. There's just no place for hate. Now, whenever I first heard this, I thought, well, one, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but why would you, why would you, ha you don't have to do that. That seems really strange to derail a charity stream with a message like that. Um, and, 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 and two, I, it, it seemed to me that he was, he was calling geeks and gamers, a hate group. He doesn't specifically say it, 
But if you listen, I guess if you listen to way to what he said, he's he says we're not affiliated with geeks and gamers. Which okay, sure, that's kind of a dick thing to do. You don't really have to out them like that and bash their organization. And then he says and like comma. Then he goes on to say, in light of recent events, there's no hate. There's no hate or whatever. Like I don't know if he meant to equivocate the two as geeks and gamers is a hate group or is full of hate uh but that is definitely what it sounded like so let's let's actually listen to this i want to listen to the to the clip i'm trying to be as even as possible because i i actually i'm a fan of Zack snyder i like watchmen i'm a big fan of watchmen big fan of of 300 uh sucker punch no <laughs> Uh, but a lot of his earlier work, I, I love a lot. And I, I actually liked uh, Man of Steel. It's Before Man of Steel, I actually didn't like Superman at all. I thought he was a boring character with boring powers. And I actually enjoyed Man of Steel. I know a lot of people don't that like Superman, so it's kind of... I, I'm more of a Batman guy myself. But his, his uh, Man of Steel actually got me to like Superman. So I'm a fan of, of Zack Snyder. I don't like... Uh, Batman versus Superman. I thought that movie was like eighty percent garbage. Uh, and there's some good, there's some gems in there, like the Batman fighting scene in Batman. He's pretty good. Um, but the the Snyder cut or the Snyder verse stuff overall, I don't like the kind of the, it's still too dark for DC and all that stuff. But anyways, I digress. I digress. So let's watch this. So we all. So I'm not just talking out of my ass you actually hear what he's gonna say okay so let's let's do that okay I want to make sure you guys can hear it too so what's up man hey guys how you doing how's everybody doing just a quick thing before we get started. I know that um, the on our on our um, donation page, we still have the Geeks and Gamers logo. I just want to say that I really um, we talked about this, and you know we're really not affiliated with Geeks and Gamers as far as I'm concerned. And I really just want to make that clear. And I also want to just say, um, you know, in, in light of recent events, I think we really, you know, if Justice League teaches us anything, it's about coming together. And we, there's no room for hate. And uh, I just think that it's important. It's an important message. And of course, as, you know, as um, the father of the Asian children, it, it really hit close to home for me. And I just, you know, I just really want to put that out there that we all, you know, there's no room for hate. And, and that's just what it's about. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I, I agree with there's no, re there's no room for hate. But um, were those two thoughts you had there? that you needed to separate from geeks and gamers and then also a second thought of we need to reiterate that there's no room for hate those are two separate things are those the same thing see because it seems if they were the same thing and that's what it sounded like that's what it at least that's what most people are hearing you said those two things so close together that it sounds like the same thought which means that the hate group Geeks and Gamers, set up a charity stream for suicide prevention. Does that make any sense? Does that make any any sense? Now, I've from everything I've heard, Zack Snyder sounds like a decent guy. He sounds like a good, nice guy. Seems like a decent uh, director, like a, a director on set. Very nice. Knows everybody. Um, and some stuff that I've heard behind the scenes it seems like he is he's a decent guy so this means that I've also heard I, I've there's some things from going around the grapevine I don't anything personally I haven't I haven't talked to Jeremy yet about it but it seems it sounded like Warner Brothers called Zack Snyder and said you need to separate you need to separate from from this hate group from Jeremy because he's right wing or because he's a toxic fan or something like that. Zach, 
you don't need I don't know if they got they got your balls and advice or something they've got some kind of information on you these are the people that fired you okay they used your daughter's tragic death to fire you from your own film okay and you're going to continue to listen to them and then say this to to a to a team directly to their faces on the stream you're a hate group i'm not affiliated with you even though you ryan you lethal lightning you uche you guys are hate hateful you're on the stream i'm not affiliated as far as i i'm concerned as far as i'm concerned so he may be a nice guy but that that's shitty that is a shitty thing to do to come on to somebody's stream that they're trying they're trying to raise money in charity and come on their stream and basically just shit on their on their organization again the organization that put this stream together and raised money and if he had not said that the the total of that of that charity stream would have been huge because I've seen it before I've seen geeks and gamers this hate group that everybody likes to call toxic fans I've seen this organization put on charity streams this isn't the first one this isn't like they used Zack Snyder to 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 say oh we're gonna do a charity stream just so we can get Zack, Zack Snyder onto a stream no they've done these throughout the the, the, la the last three years that I've been a fan that I've been watching them that I've known Jeremy they do this all the time okay tell me give me uh, information on a group of fans an organization like geeks and gamers that's on YouTube like uh, I, I screen junkies or something to that effect something with a pop culture organization that has done that many charity streams and has that much positivity out there you, you, you can't okay so stop calling these people toxic just because you don't like their opinions and you think that Jeremy's a dick which Jeremy is a dick that's why I love Jeremy because he's a dick okay we need the freedom to be dicks again it's like we can't we can't be dicks anymore I want to be an asshole Jeremy has the right to be an asshole okay but he put together a team that checks all the fucking boxes that you want you crazy NPC SJWs he checks all those boxes he's that, that team is so diverse there's there's uh, disabled there's black there's Asian there's women there's men it checks all the boxes and it's more diverse than you even want it's so diverse that it has a diversity of thought it's not just leftists it's people that are left that are center libertarian that are right conservative that's what you hate you hate that so I think in in, in last last week there was a hit piece that came out about uh, the the toxic fans uh, that they're like the, the right wing extremists, and they tried to use specifically, which is funny, specifically Ryan Cannell, another friend of mine. They specifically used him as as the subject that got radicalized by geeks and gamers, or you know, the 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 toxic fandom. Why would they Why would they use Ryan? In such a, in, in just a week, such a strange time to release this hit piece. Just a week before a stream with Zack Snyder on it. And it's centered around one person, Ryan. Somebody that is very active in the Snyder Cut movement. Shit seems, shit seems fishy as fuck. That's all I gotta say. But anyways, Ryan, uh, not Ryan, sorry, Ryan, you fuck off, Ryan. <laughs> Zach, you don't need WB. You don't need them to make movies. Just yesterday, 
after all this happened, Gina Carano. Gina Carano. Thank you, Gina Carano. Gina Carano. She she tweeted out support for Geeks and Gamers. I'm like, damn, that's cold. That's cold. That's cold. You see how, he, Zach, you see how it can be? You don't have to listen to these notes. You don't have to. I would like to disassociate myself from Geeks and Gamers because they are a hate group and blah, blah. You don't have to. You don't have to do it. You're Zach fucking Snyder, dude. You go make your own movie. You have your own production studio. What do they have on you, man? This is the problem with Hollywood. It's because they, they have their, their grubby fingers into your life. Zach can't just be friends with somebody that's associated with Geeks and Gamers because he's chained to this machine that is Hollywood. Zach, you don't need him. Perry Chan in the chat. Hail Perry Chan. Love you. Love you, buddy. You're a treasure. Uh, all right. Well, let's. Uh, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I, I felt like it was very. I, I should at least give my thoughts on it. Uh, because I am friends with Jeremy and, and some of the guys over there at Geeks and Gamers, and I'm a fan. Uh, number one, I was a fan first, and then I met them. And then, you know, we've we've been on streams a lot together, and I love those guys over there. Uh, so I wanted to give my thoughts on it, and I just thought it was, a, it was a shitty thing to do on a stream. And I respect the hell out of Jeremy in the way that he handled it. Because instead of do, being the person that you think Jeremy is, instead of having Ryan start talking shit and like calling him out or jumping in himself and being like, I need to, I need to throw this down and then starting a stream and then start shit talking on Zach. Instead of doing that, he said, Hey guys, don't, don't change the message. The stream is still about the, the charity. Keep it focused on that. I don't want to make this about geeks and gamers. That's a fucking, that's some fucking character and that shit. Nobody will ever give and nobody. I know we do, you know, the, the people that are fucking decent, We'll give him that credit because we're sane. We're not crazy. But these people out here writing hit pieces, they won't give him that credit. So anyways, I felt like I need to say that and uh, show him support. You guys go and show him support uh, and Geeks and Gamers all together. Go subscribe to those guys. They're awesome. Uh, I, I Trust me, if you, if you think you can't find somebody in there that you like, you'll find somebody. There's so many different ideas and, and channels and perspectives. You'll find somebody that you like and you'll you'll stick to it. It's pretty, it's a it's a good channel. I like them a lot. Uh, all right, so let's. Uh, I got a few super chats. Uh, maybe we should save the super chats. I'm gonna save them. So if you want to send them in, go ahead, send them in, and I'm gonna save it till after I talk about uh, the Snyder Cut. Then we'll go through your guys' thoughts on it, and uh, I'll give my thoughts on your thoughts. Thoughts on thoughts on thoughts. Thoughts on thoughts on thoughts. So all right. Zack Snyder cut Justice League. Now I want to preface this with I thoroughly despise Joss Whedon and his cut of Justice League. It was an abomination. It was it was literally looking at Dr. Frankenstein's monster in film form. It had no vision it had no well not like not like the superhero vision like you know stylistic vision it was just all over the place because they took footage that Zach shot and then recolored it and filmed extra stuff and the mustache with Superman and it, the the jokes the constant jokes I hate Joss Whedon jokes I, f I hate them and especially coming out of bat like Batman Batman should never be the person that makes a joke. He should only ever be, if there's a joke involved around Batman, it should only be somebody else making a joke in Batman's vicinity or about Bat Batman. Be like, oh, you're so stoic. Some kind of joke like that. Not, oh, oh, that hurt. Oh. No. Joss Whedon, no. Freaking you suck, dude. I don't know what happened to you at some point between, like, 2010 and now, but you suck. Anyways, because I do like I do like a Firefly. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was between Avengers One and Avengers Two because Avengers One was good, 
Avengers 2 was bad. Maybe somewhere in there he he got changed. He's a changeling. But anyway, so that that movie sucked, and I, I watched it, and I was watching the all the news about it and how bad it was going to be. So it was one of those bond like I have to go watch this because it looks like a trash fire, and I just need to enjoy the trash fire. And it ended up being a very horrible trash fire, which was kind of entertaining in it in and of itself. So that was that's my stance on on, on that. Uh, and then you already heard my my stance on the rest of the Snyderverse. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Of, of Zack Snyder's uh, vision for the DCU EU, uh, I am a fan of Zack Snyder, like I said, but not the Snyderverse. If you are a fan of that, cool, dude, that's dope. I'm glad that you got your Snyder cut because it's actually pretty good. I gotta say, it's actually good. I I, I think I like uh, like one one movie out of the maybe one and a half. I'll give I'll give Wonder Woman half. I like half of Wonder Woman. So, Man of Steel and Half of Wonder Woman, I actually do like BVS, Trash, uh, Suicide Squad, oh, <laughs> Ultra Trash. That's even worse. Like, oh my god, it's even worse. And then Justice League, obviously, complete trash. So, uh, it's not it's not batting very well. But I actually watched this. I went into it trying to be like, you know, I'm trying to purge all those bad thoughts, okay? I'm just, this is a fresh, this is a fresh start, all right? And barring, you know, I made some jokes about it because obviously there's there's jokes to be had, like the perpetual slow motion in every scene for kind of sometimes unnecessary reasons. Uh, but other than that, as a whole, as a whole four hour long movie, I actually did like it. I'd give it. Now, let's wait. I'm going to wait on that. It'll make you wait. Um. Uh, but yeah, I, I actually enjoyed it. I think I think it was a uh, more it was far better put together, for one. The CGI was way better than that last the last Justice League. Um, the acting was better. The scenes that they picked were better. The dialogue was better. Some of the dialogue towards the end, and I'll get be- I'll get to that. Uh, not so good, but. It made more sense story-wise. I'm sure there's a lot of like plot holes and shit in there that uh, certain things don't make sense. But first, my usually my first viewing is not like an analysis viewing. It's just like a take it in viewing and not like super think about it. But I thought that was good. Uh, it's basically if you haven't watched it and you've gotten this far uh, and you don't care about spoilers, it's basically the same movie. So. St- Structurally, it's the same. So you start off with, you know, like the mother boxes thing. Th- there's like minor changes. That the very beginning is it's like there's structural changes, but it for the ma- majority of it, it is the same. It's like you you get the beats of okay, there's Wonder Woman with the bank, and then Batman with Aquaman, and you know, it kind of just does the same. The same stuff, but it makes a lot more fucking sense. And there's not stupid jokes cut in. That was what was so bad about the other one. It, it felt like it was cut in. Like it felt like there was it was a regular scene, and then all of a sudden it would cut to somebody with a different, like obviously a wig, and then it would be a joke, and then it would cut back to the regular scene. It was just like so out of place. This one seemed cohesive all the way through. There was no eye roll moments, which is very important to me. I don't need. I don't want any eye roll moments. And eye roll, I'll explain. Eye roll moment is like the Batman scene where he gets pushed by Superman whenever they're having the fight, and he's like, "Oh, that's gonna hurt." Oh, that's like really that. There's no. There's no identity politics, which is just alone by itself. Thank God. Like, there's no. Oh, I'm fighting for justice, social justice, and you know women's rights and none of that none of that garbage you don't need it it's just comic book stuff thank goodness then i appreciate that zach like th- like there's if you're really if you really want to squeeze some kind of social justice s- stuff out of it i guess you could but ultimately it's it's not it's just it's just positive things. It's like sometimes you got to take that filter of everything is SJW and everything is uh, 
woke. You got to take that off and go, okay, I got to settle back down. It is just Wonder Woman telling Wonder Woman telling a little girl that she can be anything she wants to be. It's not f- feminist, okay? It's just a you know, it's an actual positive thing to say. Sometimes I get I get uh stuck in that where I just see everything. I'm like, I've, I've, I see it. That's gone. I'm done cuz I've got cuz everything has it. So I'm I I get hyper focused on that stuff. So, but but there's not any in this movie. It's very it's very uh clean of that if you care about that kind of thing. It's structurally better. It's more cohesive. The acting is better. The CGI is better. Uh, Steppenwolf is an act. It makes more sense. His actual arc, uh, his character is better. It, it. I think it just takes everything that you can clearly see in the original Justice League that there was something there. But Joss Sweden got in there and WB got in there and like just destroyed it. So you, and you can see that that's what Zach was going for now. Um, I'm trying to think what what else there 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 is there I lost my train of thought Jesus Jesus help me help me help me help, help me Superman help me Superman anyways but I thought I thought it was a, a more well well put together film as as a whole let's get to get to you guys I'm not finished though I'm going to continue going down but Let's see if I can find. You know, where is my freaking my my page with the super chats? I want to make sure I can get those super chats. Steppenwolf. That's where I was. I picked that train back up off the tracks and I said, "Get back on that track. Get back on that track." Because that's where we're going. We're going to the end of this this explanation, and you can't get off the track. You need to get back on. Anyways, Steppenwolf makes a lot more sense. He uh, his motivation seem. Actually, he actually has a motivation. Before, in the other one, it was just like, Steppenwolf is bad guy. Bad guy do bad thing. He is bad guy want to do bad thing. And now it's like, oh, okay. He's, he's been wronged, or not wronged, but he's been disgraced in some way in Darkseid's eyes. So he's trying to get, get his honor back in some way. So that's why he's like here. He's trying to get these mother boxes together so we can take over the this planet for dark side and so it, like he actually gives him a reason to do the shit that he does and he just looks cooler that last one i don't know what they were thinking with that shit but it just looked bad i'm trying to get over here why don't i do this why don't i do this while i talk i can't multitask i'm not good at multitasking let's go studio but please uh let me know what you guys thought in in the the chat uh and then i'll I'll riff off you guys and i i'm i'm genuinely actually interested in seeing what you guys think because i'm surprised at how much i liked it um i don't think it's a perfect movie by any means i don't think it's just you know second coming a movie christ i think it's it's actually really good especially in the times that we are it makes it like better because there's so much crap out there um but yeah that's I'm surprised at how much I actually did like it because I don't like, like I said, I don't like Zack Snyder DC movies. Where am I going? My, there it is. Super chats. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey, hey. There we go. I want to make sure I get it on the right date. There we are. And we are. I'm gonna do uh, these super chats and then I'll get get back to get back to the movie. Uh, a sticks for 19.99. Thank you so much, A Sticks. I appreciate it. When he first said it, this is referring back to Zach on the live stream. Uh, uh, referencing recent events, I thought he was talking about the attack act- article. That's I didn't actually I didn't think about that. Whenever I think I may have glossed over the fact whenever he said recent events. So I didn't I didn't immediately I was like, what does this even mean? Why is he mentioning that he has a an Asian daughter? It's because of bad things that happened in the world just the day before that. So now it makes sense. Anyways, let me go back. But then when he mentioned his kids, I was confused because when I uh, missed a Geeks and Gamer video, uh, because I, oh, he was confused because I missed a Geeks and Gamer video. Still was a bad comment overall. Yeah, that's exactly. I don't think it's, it was, I, I'm, I want to, uh, 
I was watching Gary's stream earlier, and I know he was saying that uh, he doesn't want to give people the benefit of the doubt anymore. And I like, I totally understand that. I don't want to give people the benefit of the doubt, but sometimes I want to think like maybe he was just they're two different they're separate separate thoughts that he said too close together and it sounded like he meant one is the other one but again it's like i don't all you have to do zach is come out and go oh pff, no that's not what i meant i meant like geeks and gamers just isn't affiliated with me i don't agree with some of the things that they said but they're not a hate group that's all you gotta say but is he gonna say it who knows who knows? He's got that. He's got that lock. Trey fifty Daniel for five dollars. Thank you. Without respect, we reject. And I totally understand that stance. You get to the point where it's like the creatives, so-called creatives of these franchises, just shit on fans so many times. It's like, damn, I'm done. Like I don't need to spend money on this stuff, you know. I don't need to buy Star Wars stuff. I like to back in the day whenever I enjoyed the franchise. But if you're going to just shit on me or call me a hate group like right now, I don't need to spend money. on. I can do other things. OK, I can spend money on channels that I like to watch, you know, I, on somebody's somebody's uh, membership. I can go do that and support content that I watch. Honestly, I watch more YouTube than I watch anything else. So I'll go I'll go spend money over here. I don't need to, I don't need you, I don't need you, okay? I don't need you. Anyways, that was Trey, 50 Daniel. Uh, Cole, is that a rabbit's foot on your mic? No, this is not a rabbit's foot. This is a mogwai foot. You see, this is mogwai? That's a gremlin for you, plebs. That's a pre-gremlin. It's a lucky, lucky mogwai foot. Thank you, Cole. Gray Fox for $5. How come no Crowder today? My dude, keep up the good work. Thank you. Um, no Crowder today because uh, Steven actually went to the, the clinic to check out his heart. He's having a having a heart issue, if you don't already know. So he's going to get that checked out and figure out what his next steps are. I believe it's all it's all good. He's not he's not dying or anything. He just needs to figure out what's going on. So that's why we didn't do a show today. That's why we had Dave Landau on the show yesterday which was a fun show as well. I like that a lot. So uh, let's move on. Some of the stuff that... So the, I said the things that I liked, right? I want to talk about the things I didn't like. Uh, and it's not a hard, It's not a long list. Um, it's just some, like, nit, I guess nitpicky stuff. Um, the, the scenes... It, one, it didn't need to be four hours. It was unnecessarily long, uh, especially in the first half. Uh, and like, especially in the first quarter of the movie, it was obnoxiously long. Like each scene was just like draw dragging on in slow motion. And there's a song playing and it's going to the song and it moves to the next scene. And then in that scene it's slow motion again. And there's another song and it's, I'm like, all right, uh, let's go, let's go, let's move on. Uh, that is a minor thing because I mean I I think you could probably chop this movie down to like a solid three and a half hours or maybe actually no I'd say no no two and a half hours I'd even cut another hour off you could probably cut off uh an hour and a half out of this movie there's some scenes that go on a little bit too long there's some scenes that are like uh you could cut this all together and I wouldn't really miss it for the full thing. It does work as a four-hour movie. I'm not saying that it doesn't work. Uh, all of the scenes in there aren't just superfluous. They're, they're not meaningless, but they're not super extremely necessary. And some of the scenes could just be chopped down a little bit. Um, that, uh, spoiler alert, at the very end, they go to that like nightmare world universe thing. Uh, you know, like the Batman nightmare thing where he was killed by Superman or something was that in BBS or that was right I don't know uh, but anyways they go to that and Jared Leto's Joker shows up now I had high hopes I know I know it's kind of stupid but I was just like hoping against hope because I think Jared Leto's a decent actor I think he can do good good work so I was like okay second shot at it man 
you got this, all right? Don't don't you fuck it up. It's not, you know, the first one was, like, m- mostly not your fault. Uh, you were acting kind of weird sending people, like, used condoms and rats and shit. Like, that was a little weird. Um, but, like, the design stuff, I don't know if that was your fault. Like, with the tattoo, the damaged, and the grilled teeth, that kind of stuff. Uh, so, I'm going to chalk that up to just that movie being a shit show. So, second chance, bro. You got it. Second chance. And he whiffed it again. I did not like his Joker. His Joker talked, like, just went on and on. And I felt like I was going to fall asleep. Which you don't really want with a Joker. Uh, he didn't have a Joker voice. Or, or like, it, his manner. He didn't have, like, a mannerism. It just sounded like Jared Leto was talking. Uh, the makeup was fine. I guess his costuming was fine. Because it was, like, part of that nightmare thing. But I just, I didn't like, <laughs> I didn't like any of that. I thought it was, it was bad. Uh, his, his, it was hard to hear too. Like he was just talking and then there's like a sun in your eyes. Like, and there's a part where he holds up a a playing card and then he starts, he pulls down his hand and he starts talking, but it's still like focused where the card is. And you like, can't see shit where they can't see his face. I don't know what they were doing with that. Uh, but yeah, I just didn't like, didn't like any of that. Just take that, get that out of here. Didn't like it. Wasn't into it. Uh, it's disappointing. I thought Jared Leto would make a good Joker back whenever I heard that he was cast. But, man. 0 for 2, bro. <laughs> 0 for 2. That sucks. Uh, let me see. what I, Dark Side was awesome. You know, it kind of makes me sad because this... Uh, that, that's really all my negative thoughts, by the way. Like I, I thought the movie was pretty good for the most part. And there was just like minor nitpicky stuff. So, I don't really have a lot of negatives... Because I thought it was actually good. Uh, but it was cool they brought Darkseid into it. Because I feel like it was... It's like, look, we're not going to get another one of these. It's not going to continue. So let's just throw Darkseid in there. Let's give you a taste. And we'll do some more villainy stuff. And maybe kind of leave it open for a sequel. But it's not It's not going to happen. Okay, it's, like, it's not going to happen. Um, but I like that they had Darkseid in there. It was cool. Kind of like setting up that world a little bit more. Um, they didn't have, they didn't have Batman be Batman until two hours into the movie. Like it was halfway through, and then Batman was actually in his suit. And then it wasn't, it wasn't till three hours when till you saw Superman. And even whenever Superman showed up, he didn't really show up until the last like thirty minutes or last twenty minutes of the actual last part, not the epilogue. He didn't show up in that at all. Um, but yeah, it's like, I want to see Batman and Superman. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is Justice League, and I'm not seeing Batman or Superman. Another cool thing, uh, just kind of go more deep into the, the climax of the movie. Uh, the The climax of this movie is so much better than the the first one, obviously. I mean, it's just like a trend here. <laughs> obviously, The Last Jedi. Uh, last Jedi? Last Jedi. And that's a different shitty movie. The, the last Justice League was just shit. Uh, but that the ending of that one was like convoluted. It was kind of confusing. To, you don't know really know where everything is, and they're kind of all over the place. And then there's a family living in this middle-of-nowhere city that's like irradiated. Why Why is there a family here? Why are we trying to save them? It, oh, they, t- they cut all that shit out. It's just Justice League come in. They have their moments. And it's pretty cool because each character actually gets to have their like spotlight moment Batman gets his like he comes in and he just like kicks ass like the last time the last movie it was like what is Batman there for like he just drives his Batmobile and it's like kind of it and he kind of stands in the background all the time but this one he came in and he like took out a bunch of those uh those what are those things called the thing with the wings and shit he took those those faceless goons out and he like pulled down this building and smashed a bunch of them. He, he had his moment. And then, you know, Aquaman had his moment. Cyborg has had his moment. Wonder Woman had her moment. Uh, Flash had his moment. It was pretty cool uh, that that they were actually able to get all these characters to, to have their moment. And it was pretty badass. And it made sense. Like, you can tell where all of the action was going. The last movie, it was just so hard to tell. And this one was pretty clear. It was like, okay, it's from this side of the of this... I guess city 
all the way to the other side where this tower is. And then when we get to the tower, it's up the tower and then in. And that's it. It's not like we're on this side of the city and then we're on this side of the city and now we're over here and now we're saving a person and then we're taking that building over here. It, none of that garbage. It's very clear. Makes sense. Each each character gets their badass moment and uh, they all take him down together. And it was, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I thought I thought the ending was really good. Another improvement, actually, which is surprising, Ezra Miller's Flash, I didn't find as grating. Still grating, a little bit. Just, <laughs> just a little grating, but not as grating as I did in the last movie because he still has his, like, quips and stuff, but it's not quite as horrible. Probably because Joss Whedon isn't writing him. That's probably it. But he had his little moments where it was like, okay, he had his little time to shine. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Uh, that's another improvement. Still not. I wouldn't have picked him as as Flash. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking with that one. But it, he also does this weird run. Like I don't know what this this run is here. But I don't know. I'm. I feel like he made that up like himself. He was like, oh, I'm gonna do like a like a special run, you know, because I'm I'm the Flash, so I can't just run like a normal person. I have to do like a. Woo, I'm the Flash. I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think I have another Super Jam. Let me check here. From Daniel. For $10. Thank you. Subbed and joined to Geeks and Gamers. Thank you. They deserve your support. So, just, you know, mosey around, poke around. Find out who else's uh, affiliate, because I think mo most of them have their own channels. So you could go, like, subscribe to just one of them. Uh, you know, like, just Ryan, or just Lethal, or just... Uh, uh, I don't know if X-Ray Girl has one, but they, she was on the stream as well. Um, but yeah, you can find somebody in there that you'll like. I, I promise you, I promise you. Uh, Brett the Illustrator for $5. Thank you, thank you. I will watch it at some point. I'm just a Batman shill. I understand. I'm kind of a Batman shill as well. Uh, I love Batman. I've always loved Batman since I was a wee little lad. And uh, and uh, I thought I thought Ben Affleck's uh, interpretation of Batman. I wasn't on board with it whenever I heard that he was cast, but I think he did ultimately did a pretty good job uh, with the character, the older Batman, a little more grizzled. That he did fine. I'm still I'm still looking forward to multiple other people playing Batman, uh, but yeah, uh, uh, let's see. Gray Wolf, that was uh, that already answered that one. Cool. Then we're all done. Uh, this will probably be. I'm gonna wrap this up pretty soon because I do have to work in the morning, and uh, I got most of my thoughts out. I think I'm gonna think about it a little bit more, and then we'll be on Friday Night Tights tomorrow to talk more about it. I'm sure we'll talk about the Snyder comment. And all that stuff tomorrow, so look forward to that. Uh, another thing, it kind of makes me sad. Talking about Ben Affleck, he does not look well. Like, there's a scene at the end with another, ooh, Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter looked pretty badass. If you guys didn't know about it, he's in it. He, It was pretty cool. I like it. And it was from a character that has been in since Man of Steel. So you're like, oh, he's been there the whole time. That's kind of that's pretty cool. And something that's cool. I don't want to get off track because I was I was on track there with Ben Affleck. So don't let me don't let me get off that track. Uh, but real quick, I'm gonna come over here. I like the fact that they are not afraid to actually say their fucking superhero names. Superman. They say Batman. He says Aquaman. Wonder Woman. I don't know if they said the Flash. I don't know if they said the Flash, but they're not afraid to say the superhero names. That's all that pisses me off with with Marvel. It's like they're ashamed. It's like they're ashamed to actually wear the costume and call them their superhero name. It's like we we how many movies until Wanda actually was called Scarlet Witch? Like it took forever. It's like they're ashamed of like oh this is nerd stuff. Like we we're we're gonna take uh, their nerd crap. But we're going to be ashamed of it and, like, try to make it as not nerdy as possible. Uh, but in, not in this. In this, Martian Manhunter's like, Sometime, some people call me Martian Manhunter. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah, you're Martian Manhunter. You should be called Martian Manhunter. And then 
Bruce Wayne calls uh, Arthur uh, Aquaman. He's like the Aquaman. It's, like, it's a little, it's a little like uh, it's a little cheesy, but he's Aquaman. Like the comic book is called Aquaman. Like call him Aquaman. Don't just call him Arthur. 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 He's Aquaman. Okay. He's Martian Manhunter. He's Batman. Call him. Call them by their names. And then that's not. Zach's not afraid to actually say that, which is cool. Anyways, I digress back to Ben Affleck. He looks rough. And that's that final scene, you can definitely tell that he's like super thin. And, uh, you know, I don't want to put anybody on blast because I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not a specimen, you know. But he looks like thin. And I hope he's getting, I hope he's getting that help that he needs because, bro, you're, you're, <laughs> Okay, bro. You need to get you need to do do uh, do some workouts. All right, and do, and and eat a burger once in, once in a while. Uh, I got a co- couple more super chats here before we wrap everything up. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the stream. I, I might be doing this kind of stuff more often. Uh, it's been kind of hard to do in the last year because you know <laughs> there's been nothing out. You know, it's there's nothing coming out. So maybe we'll do this more often for sure. I'm definitely doing more streams uh, like this. But maybe not like new release stuff, stuff like old movies that I like, uh, old movies, bring in a guest, talk to talk to the guest about a movie that we both enjoy, um, kind of do stuff like that. Kind of like what I did, I've done with Tom, the, the Let's Talk series. I'll continue doing that kind of stuff. So let me read these super chats. If I can get this refreshed, we can continue reading these super chats. Music Man 320 for fifty dollars. Whoa, man! If I had a sound effect, I would play that sound effect right now. But you know what? Let's just do a a, a me sound effect. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. it. It's it's pretty cool that that you guys would think that I'm worthy enough. You know, it means a lot. It does mean a lot. Now let me go and read your chat. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Much love, man. I just gave you much love. Much love. If Crow Crow uh, shouted this channel out, you'd. If I could read the rest. Oh, why is it cut it off like that? That's kind of dumb. Let me read that. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta open this up. Oh, it's a. It's a little bit. It's a little bit of a doozy. Okay, here we go. Uh, if Crow Crow shouted this channel out, you'd have half a mil subs, like nothing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I don't, I don't, that's almost kind of scary. I don't want that many people look and seeing all my, my, uh, my technical difficulties. <laughs> I don't want nobody seeing that. Maybe eventually. When we, when we get our shit together. Uh, some bitch is holding out on you. Well, I don't, I don't request that he do it. Uh, you know, I'm trying to build up my own thing over here. But, yeah, I don't want to take over his, you know, his streams and point people over here. Please get ABL as a guest. Uh, who's is that? Anthony Brian Logan? Is that what you're talking about? I used to watch him a lot, like several years ago, and I stopped. I, I haven't kept up with him. I, I've followed him for I think for several years, and I see his stuff every once in a while. I like that guy's stuff. I don't know what he does now, but uh, please, he's awesome and would do it. Peace. Well, thank you, Music Man. Why don't you? you get down to making that music man i don't know where i was going with that anyways uh wlt for ten dollars thank you so much i appreciate it i appreciate that you're here thank you so much man i watched evs's stream i heard about evs's stream but i did not watch it i know that he wanted to get into the geeks and gamers stream for some reason even though he's not geeks and gamers but there was some kind of weird drama there i don't know what i don't know what the drama is okay so don't i don't know what it is uh, watching Jay eat all the stuff is actually commendable. I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're trying to say. Is Jay... I don't keep up with EVS that much. Not that I hate him or anything. I just don't. I just don't keep up with it, so I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Anyways, thank you for the super chats. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. We're going to do some more of these along with video game streams i've been doing a lot of valheim okay a lot of valheim and enjoying that just but it can't go on forever okay can't go on forever 
got to move on. So we will eventually, but for now, it's, it's Valheim. Uh, I'm working on some, uh, getting some guests on for Sunday. We're going to do a, a long Sunday Valheim stream with a couple of guests, a couple of people, a uh, couple of people you might like, you know, coming in, coming in, being, being guests on my channel, doing some Valheim. So look forward to that. Thank you all for being here. Uh, go watch the movie. Let me know what you thought on Twitter. You can contact me there or you can leave a comment below this and let me know what you thought. I'll probably re respond. I'm, I read those. I read all your comments, every single one of them, okay? I read all the comments, so just just know that when you leave a comment, I'm going to see it. I may not comment on it cuz I don't have the, I don't have time to comment on everybody's, but I do see it. I do I read them all. Okay. So, you guys have a good night and uh I hope you have a have a fancy fancy uh time. I need to figure out a a good send-off phrase or something. That's a that's a that's a something I need to work on. So. I don't know where. All right, bye. <laughs> you smell what the rock is cooking? That could be it. That could be it. Oh no, the rock already has that. <laughs> oh, real quick, I want to read this super chat. Another another super chat just came in from the Duxon 1977. It's a good year. It's $5. No message. No message. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate it. Do you smell what the, uh... It's taken. I can't, I can't say that. Ooh, Cowabunga, I like that. That's a good one. 